hello, hello, all you YouTubers. Sorry for all the wind. This nor'easter's been blowing even here in the villages, Florida. It's been rather cold, windy. But I just pulled up to the gas station to fill up a golf cart. And I saw that this marathon has got the 90 octane recreational fuel. And it's like about $2.89, or $2.90 rather. But I had commuted all the way to Brownwood thinking that they were the only ones that had this gas. And I thought, well, when I got there, found out that all those pumps were inoperable today. So I bebopped down over here towards this chitty chat area to find out they've got the gas. So I was able to fill up after all. And I don't know if anybody can see this, but this is the Chitty Chatty Bridge where I'm at now. I'm about to head out of this gas station and go south over that bridge into Chitty Chatty. I thought I would just do a few little video snippets and make it into a short quick video just to highlight some of the uh, landscaping that is going on in here within the villages in case of in case if anybody was wondering when they first move into the area of Bradford or any other new village for that matter you see all of the contractor landscaping you know the, the typical magnolias and the regular bushes and things but as people get settled in, as you can see, they begin to customize their homes, customize the landscaping, and people are putting, you know, like Christmas palms and queens and robolinis and other sorts of date palms and what have you. Um, you'll begin to see this throughout the neighborhoods. Here's a house that was recently done with some uh, very customized landscaping. They've added some really large Robolinis. This one, I'm not sure what type of palm that is. Sylvester, perhaps? Very, very nice. Love them. Here's another house that had some work done. Sylvester, Robolini. They had a few queen palms planted here next to the road. I planted a queen myself. This particular house has a Christmas palm that they've got covered up due to the cold weather here in Florida, which is a little unusual. But yes, it does get cold from time to time. And up here, here's another house that recently had some queen palms put in, probably about a month ago, maybe, if not a little longer. Another Robolini. Some people begin to do custom landscaping, you know, by adding some rocks and kind of adding their own little twist to their home, making it their own. Here's what you would typically see as far as contractor grade landscape. And another house with a Robolini. And off in the distance, some more palms added into somebody's back little anai, making it their own. Here's another house on the corner that had some custom landscaping put in. Very nicely done. Love the border work. 
Very nice. And a little bit of color that they've added. And to show a few more houses. I do apologize if you hear a lot of wind noise. I'm out here riding around in the golf car when it's pretty cold. Contractor landscaping. So these people had a large Romolini put in with a big old Sylvester. And some customized rocking and tile board equipment. Some more custom landscape work. Very nice. Also wanted to show our YouTube viewers out there, some of the custom designer homes that are being built within the village of Bradford. Here's where somebody put in a Christmas palm. These are very beautiful homes. Custom design, I believe. bright colors so if you're in a lot of wind I do apologize for that here's a house where they had a Robolini put in and a little bit of their own custom landscaping to it. And I'm not sure what they're going to do with this area. Rather opened up. Kind of hoping they'd make a kind of like a park out of this section. Be a good spot for it, actually. Here are some more landscaping. Now I mentioned the other house that we were looking just a minute ago as custom designer homes. They, I may be wrong on that, so please don't quote me. But they are just as beautiful in my opinion. Now I'm just riding around within the village of Bradford as I make my way towards our villa in the Gracie Villas because the temperatures are dropping. Many people have wrapped their trees around with plastic, some sort of wrapping to try to keep them protected. And we can see on the outskirts here, these are being built. I believe these houses are made to order. I believe. That one says it's sold. Could be wrong. Coming into a cul-de-sac where well, these homes are still under construction. But I do want to say these are made to order homes. Or at least some of them perhaps. But 
along with the landscaping I was talking about. This is to kind of show you the the progress that these uh, contractors and the builder are doing within the village of Bradford. These homes are being sold like they're going out of style, folks. I mean, they really are. Bright yellow. Just typically what you would see. This one right here had a massive nine in the backyard. So yeah, that tells me custom. This one's still being worked on. Here's an entrance to the walking path. I can take you over there to the St. Catherine, the village of St. Catherine. But as you can see, many of these homes are still being worked on. Some are near completed. And this house is going to be right across the street from the entrance to our villa. Been working on it for quite some time. And if you'll notice, that tile work in the driveway is exquisite. Something I wish I could do. But perhaps someday. But anyway, folks. I was glad I was able to take you along there for a couple of minutes just to talk about a few little things. Thank you and have a good night.